Hello, you're with Libby from LibbyStamps.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and I'm bringing to you today another one in my celebration series and today we're using Avant Garden, just the sentiment from Avant Garden so just the happy birthday wishes from there and we're going to use all the stamps out of the Delicate Details stamp set. So both of those available in the Celebration brochure. These products are free until the 31st of March with a $90 purchase if you live in Australia. So this is our card today and I'm doing it on Tip Top Talk with the striped mint macaron ribbon and I've used the mint macaron glimmer paper which is this one out of the new celebration brochure which is available now same things apply $90 Australian order and you can choose this free so the one we're going to make will have the sweet sugar plum just for something a little bit different so that's our card now I've already layered all my stamps up on my largest block. Now I'll just explain how I did this. This stamp here which is, alright, this one here. So I've got it going round that way. I put it on my mat first. Then this one fits into those scallops. Then this one this one and this one I've put facing the other way so when you look at it you've got oh I just realized I've stuck this one on upside down so we're going to do it around the other way so you've got one two three four stamps going in one direction and one stamp going in the opposite direction you can butt them all up against each other which makes them straight and I've got my tip top talk card already cut my card base and my card front is 10 by 14.3 and as usual I'll put the metric and the imperial measurements on my blog and because we're using photopolymer stamps I'll just bring in my stamp and pierce mat for a bit of cushioning all right so I've got all my stamps laid up and I'm going to put the ink on top of my stamps. That way you get, because it's a large area to cover, you get a much better coverage with your ink pad. And then I'm just going to line my card up and stamp. All right, stamp down, give it some firm pressure, lift up, and you can see how you have the inked area. Ink up again. You'll have to ink up about three times, I think. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You will find inspiration. All I'm saying is you can do it. I want to hear that's our stamping done. Remove my stamp and pierce mat. I'm just going to bring in my tweezers to hold my card. So once you've inked up, there's very few places you can hold your card. You don't want to get your fingers all over those inked up areas. So I'll bring in my white stamp and emboss powder. I'm going to just sprinkle that over liberally. Now I'll bring in my heat gun. Yes, I am. 
All right, while well, my heat tool still warm, I'm going to bring in my stamp and piece mat again. And I'm just going to stamp the sentiment, which is happy birthday. So again, in cut liberally with my Versamark. There we go. And again with the white embossed powder, shake off the excess. Bring my heat tool in. Right, now we just need to cut this out with our stitched framelit and I'm using the second or the second smallest of the framelits so it's a stitched shape framelit So now we have our sentiment cut. I've already cut some sweet sugar plum glimmer paper from the glimmer paper pack. And because it's glimmer paper onto card or card onto glimmer paper, you need to give it a little bit of time to dry. Glimmer paper can be a little uncooperative, so I'll just layer that up. And liquid glue is probably your best for glimmer paper, adhering on to glimmer paper. Alright, so we'll just put that to one side. Alright, we're going to put our card this way up this time, and I've already got my ribbon cut. So I'm just going to bring in some glue dots. Alright, so I'll probably put it across there. I'm going to come in with a glue dot, just place it under there like that, make sure my card's straight using my grid paper, get a glue dot for the other end, it's about right, and just put it under there like that and lay my ribbon down. And I'm just going to add some tear and tape. Lay this on the front of our card. It's already looking lovely. Just be careful with your sentiment. I've already put dimensionals on the back of the glimmer paper. There we go. There's a happy birthday with sweet sugar plum and a happy birthday with mint macaron. All right, so thanks for stopping by. Bye for now. Get a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw out.